I'm Rear Admiral Thomas M. Dykers, retired. So many people have asked me whether submarines ever fight submarines. In this chapter of the Silent Service, we're going to take you along to the South China Sea as a passenger in the United States submarine Batfish on her six war patrol. There's nothing like getting the answer firsthand. In February 1945, units of the 8th Army under Lieutenant General Hall had landed at Zambales in the Philippines. The U.S. forces were at the height of their power. Japanese were on the run. With the United States in command of the sea and the air, there was no hope for a Dunkirk type rescue. So they tried to save the important ones in a mad scramble. Some hoped to make it by air only to fall victims to the relentless air patrol that blanketed the fields. Only a short distance to Formosa. They traveled in anything that would move. Some didn't get there. At sundown on the evening of February 9th, 1945, the Japanese submarine I-41 departed from Apari. She was loaded with key Air Force personnel that would be needed in the defense of Formosa. Having finally reached what they thought was a haven of safety, they were feeling pretty good. Just one more hurdle, the USS Backfish. A skipper was Lieutenant Commander John K. Fife from Virginia Beach, Virginia. The executive officer was Lieutenant Clark K. Sprinkle from Youngstown, Ohio. Lieutenant John L. Fromm, Jr. from Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania, brought the captain a message. Japanese apparently intend rescue of important people from the port of Apari by destroyer or submarine. Take station off that port without delay. There will be five submarines north of you at intervals on track to Formosa. Be careful to identify submarine targets before shooting. This puts us back in the big league, Larry. Right full runner, all ahead, full. I guess that nothing will move in or out except at night. They'll have to leave Luzon early in the evening in order to get well clear before daylight. Now, ships coming down from Formosa will arrive about dawn. A sub could get a little jump on that time by starting out submerged in the afternoon. That's right. So we've got to take a position that'll get them either way. And this is it, right here. 30 miles north of Apari. We should be able to catch them on the surface any way they play it. If we catch them going north, they'll be loadable Japanese generals. Yeah, going south, they'll be loaded with ammunition and supplies. Remember, if we knock off a southbound ship, it'll never take anyone north. Yeah. Well, there it is. Any questions? This spot puts us pretty close to the area where the archfish is operating, Captain. If he straight south, one of us might get hurt. This position has the best chance of paying off. And we're not moving out of it because of something that may never happen. You're the navigator, Sprink. Just make sure we stay south of his area, and let him take care of himself. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah, the captain sure knows what he wants. Yeah, I hope he's right. Well, this is our sixth patrol, and he has been up till now. We still have to be careful, Larry. Look, I have the best night vision on this ship. And both the captain and me on the bridge. We're not going to shoot our own people. Yeah? What guarantee can you give me that they're not going to shoot at us? Remember, that boat has one of the best shooting records in the force. I guess I can. Look, it's like our position. I know where we are, but do they know where they are? 
It looks like we're going to have to trust him, Spike. Let's go get a cup of coffee, huh? No, you go ahead, Larry. I want to take a star sight. That's for luck, baby. <laughs> Hey, fellas, here comes a spy from the forward torpedo room. What you doing back here, Lyons? Can't you tell when the man's just slumming? Slumming, eh? Yeah, you don't think I'd be back here for any other reason, do you? All right, spill it. We got work to do. Okay, okay, simmer down. It's just the sporting proposition my men asked me to make to you. It's just this. We found some real expensive dolls back in Honolulu. And when we get back, we want to take them on a full power run. Now, since we travel first class, it takes dough. The type of dough we just don't happen to have. If this is another one of your sucker schemes... Now, wait a second. Are you afraid to make a fair bet? All right, what is it? Spill it. All right, we'll make a $500 bet we get more hits from the forward torpedo room than you guys get from back here. There must be a gimmick in this somewhere. You've got twice as many torpedoes as we have. Yeah, that's why we said we'd make twice as many hits. Look, it's an even bet. Even? It's easier for the old man to shoot from forward. Yeah. Throw him out! Now, wait a second. You haven't heard the whole deal. Out! Now, wait a second. We'll make it more than twice as many hits. We'll even throw an introduction into the girls. They're USO dancers. Now, hold it. Look, let's face it. The girls aren't any good to us unless we have the dough. How many? Six, and are they put together? You got a deal, but you better deliver. We're gonna see very far tonight. Yeah, pretty dark. Good for shooting from the surface. It's good for a lot of other things too, Larry. It worked for this cockeyed war. Feeling kind of sentimental, huh? I've had it bad all day. I thought something was bothering you when you got so worried about plugging one of our own boats. Maybe I am too worried, Larry. But I've got a hunch this war is winding up fast. I'd hate to think we were responsible for some of our own guys getting it. Contact on the radar. What does it look like? It's a small ship, Mr. Sprinkle. Bearing south. 11,000 yards. Captain to conning tower. Captain to conning tower. Could be a submarine. Could be. Small ship bearing south 11,000 yards. Could be a submarine. What's the range doing? Closing, sir. Battle stations! How's our chance, boys? After torpedo room, man them ready. We'll have to shoot this by radar, Larry. I don't think we'll ever see him. You're not afraid of it being ours? No, it's coming up from the south. None of ours should be down there. Marcho's target zigzagging at 12 knots. Base course 340. Make ready the forward torpedo tubes. Aye, aye, sir. Make ready the forward tubes. Set depth at six feet. Tubes forward, aye. Make ready the tubes. Set depth at six feet. Oh, boy, this war is commencing to be a pleasure. Come on, snap it up, you guys. Let's go. Range, 2,100 yards. Can you see him yet? No use radar bearings and commence firing as soon as ready. Make those bearings good. Aye, aye, sir. All set? We can shoot any time. Forward tubes are ready. Stand by. Fire! 
There they go. All oh, these electric torpedoes, there's no wake to follow. Can you see them yet? No. Right full rudder, all ahead, full. Torpedoes should be hitting now. You must have missed them, Captain. Yeah, we'll try again. Reload the forward tubes. Reload the forward tubes. Larry, we'll move into where we can see him. He's still going ahead. It's those wakeless fish. He didn't see him. I've got it. It's a submarine. It's not ours, is it? I can't tell yet. I see it. It's enemy. I class boat. Take bearings for the bridge. Find a prisoner. All stop. Not a single survivor. Yeah, she went down too fast. And it only took one hit. Ah, this room looks pretty sharp. We keep everything in good shape, Mr. Fromm. It doesn't do much good. Oh, why not? Captain doesn't shoot from back here. Doesn't he know he can depend on this room? <laughs> sure he does. But he has to shoot the best way he can. Getting so I'm having morale problems, Mr. Fromm. Not bad, huh? Yes, sir. Maybe you could ask the old man, I mean the captain, to shoot from aft next time. Will you, sir? Sure. And he'll do it if he can. Thanks, Mr. Fromm. Fish continued on its mission, and the men who were about to go topside were adapting for night vision. Hey, what are you doing out of your bunk this time of night? I told you to get some rest. Well, that's the point of lying down. That cloud cover's prevented my getting star sights again. You know, it's hard enough trying to get to sleep wondering if the archerfish knows where she is, but I'm not sure where we are either. Did you try checking it with the depth of water as shown on the chart? Yeah, I've been doing that, but the, the bottom's so irregular, you can't tell anything for sure. Well, we've been lying for the current in here. I don't see how it can be far off. I'm sure we're somewhere in our assigned area right now, but if this weather keeps up, all I can say is you better take a good look at that target before you shoot. Captain of the bridge, battle station, torpedo! I can't see it yet, but radar says it looks just like the last one. Which way is he moving? He's coming up from the south, and he's not far away. Make ready all torpedo tubes. Forward tubes are ready. Tubes aft, aye. 
Here's where we get even, boys. Make them ready. Let's go, John. Let's go. There she is. Good position for the stern tubes. Stand by the stern tubes. Stand by the stern tubes, I. Told you Mr. Prime wouldn't let us down. Maybe they'll turn. Maybe they'll turn. He's turning. He's turning. Standing by the forward tubes. Let's go. Fire one. The first one did get her. In fact, she sank so fast that the second torpedo passed right over her plunging hull. She was a Japanese submarine RO-112. Two enemy submarines in less than 48 hours. This was a record. Spirit and the Batfish were soaring, and they weren't finished yet. At 1.55 in the morning of February 13th, they made another radar contact. But this one had them worried. It was coming from the north. Sprink, are you sure we're in our own area? No, I'm not. It's been too overcast for star sights. And this could be the archer fish. If we can't get sights, he can't either. Well, I hope we don't have to shoot until we can get a good look. Yeah. While we're doing it, I hope he doesn't let us have it. It sure is dark under this overcast. We're going to be lucky to see this guy at all. Look, since we've got two hits, we'll give you four to one for another hundred. Ty, you win. We'll take it. Knock off the chatter on this circuit. Bearing, zero, one, two. Range, three, five, double O. Keep the bow pointed right at him, Sprink. And make ready the forward tubes. Forward tubes again. on radar. It could be the archer fish. Whoever it is, he could be making an approach on us. Secure the forward tubes. Hey, they're securing the forward tubes. We've still got a chance. Right full rudder, all ahead, one third. Right full rudder, all ahead, one third. We'll turn and keep well ahead of him. He can't hurt us that way, and we'll see what happens. We'll have moonlight in about a half hour.
like they're blowing their ballast tanks. Contact. There he is. Tear the bridge. Tear the bridge. <laughs> dive. Dive. That's secured. Full rudder, steady on course zero nine zero. Left full rudder, steady on course zero nine zero. Make ready the forward torpedo tubes. Up scope. That did it. The forward tubes again. Japanese R O class. He's zigging. He's going astern of us. Make ready the stern tubes on the devil. Make ready the stern tubes! Hey! Down scope. Stern tubes ready. Up scope. Hot bangs. Two and five. Set. Eight hundred, eight twenty, eight forty, eight sixty, eight eighty, and nine. I guess that'll teach you not to bet so much money. Yeah, my boys and I are in a bad spot, Captain. There's no point for us ever going ashore now. We might just as well start right out in another patrol. When are we starting home, sir? We got a dispatch from the force commander a little while ago. Lots of congratulations and orders to leave at sunset tonight. Message from our relief boat. We are entering your area tonight. Suggest you study silhouettes of U.S. submarines and do not shoot. <laughs> Repeat, do not shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in a moment with our special guest. This patrol of the Batfish hung up a record that has never been equaled by another submarine of any nationality. Three submarines in roughly 76 hours is truly remarkable. Now I want you to meet the fighting executive officer of the Batfish, Mr. Clark K. Sprinkle. Sprink, will you tell us about the last submarine you sank? The post-war record shows that it was the RO-113, and it was loaded with ammunition for their forces on Luzon. She went up with quite a roar. You must have had some anxious moments until you identified her as Japanese. We sure did, but all of our submarines were very careful on that point. There wasn't a single case of one boat shooting another in the whole war. Keeping one's own forces apart is one of the fine arts of warfare. But no system can substitute for the care and sound judgment you demonstrated. I know I express the feelings of our audience when I say congratulations to you and the fine ship's company of the Backfish on a truly remarkable performance. Thank you. I hope you will be with us when the silent service brings you another thrilling submarine patrol. <laughs>